okay so let us discuss now how fuzzy logic controller is designed so basically it is designed in three stages fuzzification rule base and defuzzification in uh, before proceeding let me clear uh, one thing that these things might be confusing to someone who is new to fuzzy logic controller but don't worry uh, if you will go through the videos that i have provided in the link and when you will see the implementation of this fuzzy logic controller on bug converter in this video it will be more clear to you so for now the first is fuzzification what we do we take uh, our sensors take the output of our system and from that output we calculate the error that is how far we are from our desired output and we also calculate the rate of change of error then we divide or categorize these things into some parts i am uh, for now i am doing uh, i am categorizing these into five parts but depending upon the performance that you desire you can divide into more or less parts so let's say that uh, let's consider one scenario where error is lying under negative big category this is negative small this is zero this is positive small and this is positive big and the rate of change of error is lying into the positive small category so now both of these values will go to the rule base the rule base decides that a certain combination of error and change in error demand for a certain output from the controller which will bring the system to the desired state so let's say for this particular condition that combination is positive small output so we want uh, a positive small output that can only maintain the system in the balanced state or at desired state so so uh, from here the last stage is defuzzification where the fuzzy value of output or the control output we have it is converted again into a mathematical or exact value which is then provided to the controller or uh, the system where it is required uh, now let us understand that how we understand as i have explained in the example that in order to implement fuzzy logic controller we must understand the system's property in linguistic form so how we will do it so let's uh, look at the bug converter here the control signal is provided to this switch it controls the output basically the buck converter is used to maintain a constant output voltage which is less than the input voltage and uh, it maintains this voltage output uh, constant uh, even when input voltage will vary or the load will vary so here we can see that this buck converter works on this simple relationship that is its output voltage simply depends upon input voltage into duty cycle duty cycle is the pulses that we provide to this switch so we can see here clearly that if we increase duty cycle then output voltage increases if we decrease duty cycle then output voltage decreases so this is a very simple system and it we understood it very easily that okay whatever signal we will provide here control signal if we if we will provide more then output voltage will increase if we will provide less then the output voltage will decrease uh, so with this understanding let us now move to the part where we will understand how we design fuzzy logic controller for dc dc bug converter so for that uh, if we assume this red line as the reference output voltage and these are the ranges that we have set like this is the output voltage and this is time let's say if over time if uh, our output voltage is here you add this red dot here then we will say that our output is lying into negative small error zone so like this we uh, divide some ranges uh, above or below our reference voltages and then we proceed further so let us consider this thing as real time output voltage we know that uh, it can follow a trajectory like this where it might increase after we apply control actions then it will ultimately settle to some value below reference value or lower to the reference value so 
if we look at the trajectory of its movement let's say it was uh, this was its trajectory then it was at certain points at different interval of times so the rule base of controller can be designed by looking at these points so if we look at this point here let's say if i will look at this point this error is negative small error okay so from this property we know that if v out is more than required then we have to decrease the v out so in order to decrease the v out we must decrease this duty cycle so for this point we can set a rule base that if the error is negative small then decrease the duty cycle similarly for this point if you will see here the voltage is very less so here a greater push of control signal is required to bring it to this value so here if we can set one more rule base that if error is positive big then a very large duty cycle is required to bring the system to desired value similarly if the system will be here it is very near to the reference output voltage so we don't we don't need to provide too high duty cycle here otherwise it can overshoot so here we will provide a small duty cycle or a small control signal so similarly observing this whole trajectory we can design a rule base that using this trajectory we will design a rule base which will look something like this we can say that these are errors negative big negative small zero positive small positive big and change in error are these values and these uh, ranges you can decide from uh, the simulation that i have implemented i use these ranges to design uh, the uh, ranges of error and change in error so here this rule base that i used is basically saying that whenever let's uh, let's pick any point that positive small error and negative small change in error so whenever the error will be positive small and change in error will be negative small the control signal will be negative small so like this you observe the trajectory and you will design a rule base which will then be required into the fuzzy logic a controller designing in the MATLAB toolbox.